The Ohio will also vote on issue one, which would allow some nonviolent felony offenders to get 25% sentence reductions. It would also prohibit jail time as a sentence for possessing or using drugs until a third offense within two years. And the polls uh, just opened minutes ago in Ohio, so you can go vote on all of those issues. Local 12's Adam Clements is at Knox Presbyterian Church this morning in Hyde Park, one of the polling places. Looking busy there, Adam. Yeah, you know, uh, Sheila, we kind of worried about the voter turnout. What was it going to be like today? Uh, we saw large numbers turning out over the weekend at the Hamilton County Board of Elections. Long lines out the building. Take a look. Uh, this is what it looks like here in Hyde Park at the Knox Presbyterian Church. You can see uh, probably about a dozen or so voters here. So certainly off to a decent start. I uh, actually had to turn away a couple of voters who got here uh, about 10 minutes early. Uh, very eager to vote uh, and cast their ballot for the many uh, ba uh, many issues and candidates here on the ballot. Uh, let's start with the congressional races uh, in both the first and second districts. We'll start with the first district where Democratic challenger Aftab Puraval faces off with Republican incumbent Steve Shabbat. Now Puraval, of course, the Hamilton County Clerk of Courts. Uh, he was out campaigning over the weekend. This is his first run at Congress. Uh, Steve Shabbat has, uh, has campaigned uh, largely on his experience, spending more than two decades representing the first district. Over in the second district, uh, it is uh, incumbent Republican Brad Wenstrup taking on Democratic challenger Jill Schiller. Green Party candidate James Condit Jr. is rounding out the ballot. Now, this race has been a little more civil uh, in terms of negative campaign ads that we've seen on television. I uh, haven't seen a lot of those in the second district, uh, but we will certainly keep our eye on those. And then, as, as you mentioned, uh, issue one is also a hotly contested issue, which will, uh, again, reduce the sentences for nonviolent uh, criminals, drug offenders, things of that nature. So we're keeping our eye on things. But again, uh, the folks continue to come in here, cast their ballots uh, in Hyde Park. And we do expect the, these numbers to increase here as the morning goes on. We will certainly keep our eye on things. Uh, as as it does. Reporting live in Hyde Park, Adam Clements, Local 12 News. Sheila, back All to you. All right, Adam. And hey, show us that you did your civic duty. Yeah, absolutely. Upload pictures of yourself and your voting sticker <laughs> at local12.com slash chime in.